<laughs> Next up is Dan Holman, or Dan Goldman, as we call him around the place. He's, uh, he's just... He's just lethal, isn't he, old man? He is, he's, brilliant. he's, he's such a, another great bloke, but he's just taken a Cheltenham town like a duck to water, really. He's just he's come in, and when he first came in, I remember speaking to him, and he, he's one like me. He's always one of the first in, you know. I think one morning we're in, it was about 8.30, we're both in uh, at the training ground, and sitting there, and I think the first one's in, and he just signed, and I'm... You know, yeah, he getting on, and he, I knew him through mutually playing against him, but didn't didn't actually know him as a bloke. And first day, I said to him, I says, "Oh man, if, if you get if you get ten goals, we'll get promoted." He goes, "You reckon?" I went, "Yeah." I says, "What you're now?" He goes, "I'm on 14." I said, "You get ten goals, get 24, potentially 25 goals." Says, "We're going to get promoted." I think he got ten goals in nine games, something stupid like that. And I went, "You're not meant to score them all so quick." He goes, "Down to you said if I get ten goals, we're going to get promoted." There's still eight games left or something like that. And I went, "Don't worry, mate. We'll get promoted. Don't worry about it." But he, he, he's fit right in since he's come in. He's got a great personality. He's a great character. He, you know, he, he's. I say he's fit in as soon as he come in. It's like he'd been here all season. He's he's embraced everything that we. Uh, are about at Cheltenham Town. His work rate is second to none. He works so hard um, on and off the pitch. On a Saturday, he's always he's always harassing centre halves, closing them down. He, uh, you know, I know through playing against him, he is a nightmare to play against because he's always, you know, chomping at you. He's always around your feet, and he's just he's a lethal finisher, left and right foot. He's got such great ability of he hits it. So quick, he's got that, that short back lift. So when the ball comes into him, he takes a touch, and then it's his shot before a keeper's set and before the defender's set. You know, there's a lot of time you, you see a player have that touch and then take a step, then shoot. He's sort of taking the touch and shot in the same kind of movement. It's so hard to defend against that because you can't, because you've got to do that as well. Defend, you've got to get, you've got to find a step from from nowhere. You you, you almost got to hover. And it's hard to do. It's hard to keep to try and block his shots. And he's got. It's a great ability to have that. And well, he's so hard to defend against. And for keepers, he, he gets them off balance. They're not actually quite set yet. And it's he's done that so many times. And that, that one where he just takes a touch and curls it into yeah, the, 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 the last goal, two like, games. The last like, couple of games. He's got the he's got the ball out of his feet, and I've turned to John in the press box and gone goal before he's even yeah, touched the ball. He's, he's just, just got he's got an ability just to to do that, and it. It puts bums off seats and gets bums off it as well, yeah. you know, and that's, you know, it gets people in the stadium is what yeah, I mean, yeah. and then gets some stand up cheering because he, he's got that, and he's, he's, he's such a brilliant signer for us, and you've got to take that off to the gaffer. It's, he's, you know, played a massive role in, in getting us promoted. Another one that's coming up as a season, so it is tough, but he's just hit the ground running. You know, he's, he, he he takes his profession as well so serious and I like that I really do he, he, similar to me as in he, he's he drinks all these weird oh, I don't do this but he drinks all these weird teas he comes in with like it looks like he, he's from Morocco or something stupid they've got this <laughs> bloody mug it's got a lizard on it and it's got a straw that hangs out and he drinks his tea through this straw he <laughs> looks like I say he looks like he should be walking around a Moroccan desert with this thing on he's it's a bit funny, but you know, whatever it's doing, it's working, Dan. So keep doing it, mate, because uh, yeah, he's he's been brewing for us, and like I say, he's uh, it was a great signer for us at the time, and I, I'm I'm confident he'll stay because he, he just he, he loves he loves the place, he loves the boys, and it only been here I think only been here about two months that I remember we we come in after a game and, get, and he just sat there and he goes, oh, I love this place, we never lose. <laughs> We never look, we always win. And I'm like, that's it, Dad. You know, and he goes, I, I love you guys. Like, and like, that's the kind of person he is. He just, he, he, you know, he's a pleasure to be around. He's a pleasure to work with. He always wants to, again, another one that wants to get better. Uh, he, he listens to you when you, when you say to him, you know, uh, do this, do that. He, he's, always, he's always willing to, to acknowledge and, and, and take a genuine interest and listen in what you're saying and, and takes it on board so yeah another great another great player and another great lad and hopefully he's here next season and if he is then I, I feel he could earn this club a lot of money at some stage and um, a promotion another promotion and another promotion that'd be that'd be very nice get us promoted next year and uh, he, you know we could tie him down to a, to a decent deal and he could uh, end up earning the club like I say a lot of money uh, through a transfer fee but 
most important thing is, is keeping them here next year and, and uh, keeping them, getting them goals and uh, anything can happen.